How do you know that your stress is not just all in your head, but it's actually affecting your body and your chemistry and your physiology? My favorite exercise is having people do this thing called the lemon, the lemon exercise. So just close your eyes for a moment. Imagine that you have this plump, a uh, big lemon in front of you. Imagine in the scenario, you take this lemon out and you cut it with a knife into half and you see this juicy lemon spewing out little juices and you cut into a slice. Take that lemon in your mind and put it up into your lips and imagine yourself just taking a big bite of this lemon. So now open your eyes. How many of you actually feel your lips puckled in, you have juiciness and you're feeling saliva kind of secreted because of feeling sour or the imagination of sour is actually doing something to your lips or your chin or your saliva. So that's your body having a real reaction to an imaginary scenario, right? There was no lemon, there was no life, knife, and as a res but at the same time, your body was having a puckered lips, saliva producing moment. So that's the same when we are having chronic or acute stress, what it happened is it actually in our mind creates this really real experience and our body responds to it by having adrenaline, by having cortisol, which is a stress hormone that long-term, if we do it over and over again without stop, it would actually start changing our body, changing our chemistry and affecting our body long-term. Hi, I'm Dr. Lowe. I am a functional medicine doctor and integrative medicine specialist. So if you're interested to learn more about how stress impact our lives, you want to find ways to optimize your health, your hormone, and work on regeneration and optimizing of your age and your health, follow my channel and listen to more of these tips.